Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode four of Intermediate Photoshop. And in this episode, we're going to continue along with what we did in our last episode, and that is removing unwanted objects from our images. Now, in this episode, it's going to be just a little bit more difficult than what we did in the last episode, but you'll find it's still very, very easy. I, it's really not so much difficult as a little more time consuming than it was in that last episode where we just kind of circled what we wanted to remove and just poof, it was gone. Here we have to take our time a little bit more. Now what I have here is this image here of this fisherman in front of the waterfall and I really don't like the branches from this dead tree behind him. So I want to get rid of that. So. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to duplicate my background. And because I'm working on a Mac, I'm going to hit Command-J. If you have a PC, you'd hit Control-J. And then you have a duplicated uh, layer there. And that way you're doing all the work on your duplicated layer and your original layer remains intact. Now I want to zoom in a little bit. And again, I'm working on a Mac, so I'm going to hit Command-Plus a couple times to zoom in. If you have a PC, you'd hit Control-Plus. Now the tool we want to use for this is the spot healing brush. It's very easy to use the spot healing brush. It's probably one of the easiest tools uh, that is for the power it gives, I guess I should say. So if you go right here, it's the J key is the keyboard shortcut. And in this little cubby, it's the very first tool. And what we want to do is go up here in the brush attributes and click right here. And what I found is hardness around 50 usually works pretty well for something like this. So keep hardness around 50 and leave the spacing at its default 25%. And then we're going to adjust the size as we go. We want the brush just a little bigger than the area we're going to remove. So right here, it's just a little bigger than this branch. And if you wanted to make it bigger, you'd hit the right bracket key to make it larger and the left bracket key to make it smaller. Now, one thing I have to warn you, when you remove things from an image, because you just saw that item there, you're going to be a little more critical. You're going to say, oh my god, I could see a tiny little crease there, or you're going to see some discoloration. Nine times out of ten, even 99 times out of 100, not another soul on the planet is going to be able to see it. It's just because you just saw it there that you're a little more sensitive to it. So don't worry if it looks like maybe there's a little like line there or a crease there. No one's going to notice. So what we're going to do is we're not just going to paint and try to replace the entire branch all in one false swoop. We're just going to go in little pieces because I found, generally speaking, that works better. Now you can see it. it, it we knew it was there, so it kind of looks kind of odd right there. But trust me, no one's really going to notice. Now, where this brush has an issue is in transition areas. In this case, we're going from his vest to the waterfall. And it's best, I found, to just make the brush maybe a little bigger in this instance and just do one click like that. And then kind of just keep clicking once to try to get rid of the branch and you can see now it doesn't look as bad so we'll just come in and we'll just continue to do this and again don't try to take too many um, large chunks at a time if what you found or what you did you don't like you could revert back by hitting option command Z as in zebra if you have a Mac or alt control Z as in zebra if you have a PC and that will step you back and every time you do that it will step you back one further step so if you don't like what you did or what the replacement looks like you could do that to step back like right here let's say I didn't like that and on my Mac I'll hit option command Z and it brought it back of course a PC you'd hit alt control Z so we'll just keep going here very quickly. Now I'm going to do a very fast job. I trust you would do a, you know, a slower, more meticulous job than I'm doing for the purpose of this video. Now I made the brush bigger by hitting the right bracket key. 
And we'll just keep going like this. You see sometimes it will replace, it's sampling around the area and it put a chunk of rock right here. We didn't want that, of course. So we just go over it again. And we'll come back up here and do this big one. Just go very quickly so you get an idea. And if you see a little, you know, something still hanging back there, just one click, we'll get rid of it. Like, let's say right here, I could just go like that. Do that. Just keep painting through. I'm probably taking too large of a, of a chunk at a time. Uh, I'm doing that for the sake of this video, trying to expedite it. Get the idea here. Now that doesn't look too bad right there. Let's say we leave it right there. I'm going to zoom back out by hitting Command minus a couple times. And you could see you really can't tell anything was done there. I could clean up this end a little better here by just doing a couple clicks. Something like that. And that that is more than acceptable. People really won't tell or won't be able to notice that there was a tree branch there. It is still a little messy right here. You could clean that up a little uh, you know, by just uh, keep clicking. And pretty soon you'll get it so it looks more natural. But now it looks pretty good right there. We're going to do another one. This one here, we have, of course, these power lines coming through the image. And we're going to use the same tool to begin with. We're going to use this uh, spot healing brush. Again, the shortcut key is the J key. I'm going to zoom in a little bit again by hitting Command Plus. Again, if you have a PC, you'd hit Control Plus. Now I want to move over to the left, uh, hold the space bar in, you'll see it turn into a little hand and you could drag the image around. So I want to come over here. Now you, again, you don't want to take the whole uh, power line at once, but there is a relatively quick way you could do this. There is a sag in it, so I can't really draw a perfectly straight line, but I could do parts of it. So I'm going to click at the beginning of the power line once, right there. Then I'm going to go down to, well, it's still relatively straight, maybe right about here. And I'm going to hold the shift key in. And I'm going to click a second time. And you can see it drew a straight line and it got rid of that power line. Now I could do it again. I could just come up over here, hold the shift key in, and it will get rid of more of the power line. Maybe I'll go to here, hold that shift key in, and it gets a little bit rid of a little more of it. I'll hold the space bar in and drag this way and maybe we'll go to about there I'll hold that shift key in draw that straight line hold the shift key in hold the shift key in hold the shift key in we have a little chunk right there we'll get rid of that all right now we could get rid of this one over here and I'll go very quickly and we're going to do it the same way we're going to click once then I'm going to hold the shift key in, and then hold the shift key in, and hold the shift key in, left a piece there. All right, now because I clicked there, our shift uh, trick won't work quite right because it's going to start from here. So we have to kind of start over by clicking once there, and then hold that shift key in to click the second time there tiny tiny bit right there so I got to start over again by clicking once there and hold that shift key in now again you could see the clouds you could almost tell it was taken away right there but really anyone that is looking at this really won't take that like go oh I know there was a power line there I mean you could come in here and try to mess with it a little bit if you want and try to change it make it look more to your liking Click once there, click once there by holding the shift key. And all right, we got rid of that one. Okay, now 
it might get a little more tricky because they're closer together. Let's see. We're going to click once here, hold the shift key in, and got rid of a big chunk. Hold the shift key in, got rid of another big chunk. Shift key in, left a little piece right there. So far, so good. Hold the shift key in right there. And one click there, and shift click, little chunk right there. Okay, now I'm sure that this one's going to give us a little more fits because they're close together. And when you're using this tool, it's sampling pixels around it uh, to get an idea of what to use to replace what you're sampling or what you're trying to get rid of. So I'm going to click once there, and then we'll hold that shift key in there. And you can see it has the line still because it replaced it with what was above it was this line here. We don't want that, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Option-Command-Z twice, or just once. That's good. It brought me back to here. Um, again, if you have a PC, it would be Alt-Control-Z as in Zebra. And now we're going to use a slightly different tool. Right below this is the Healing Brush tool. And you can see it still looks similar. It has a Band-Aid on it or Band-Aid is the little icon for it. Now what we're going to do here is what the way this tool works is you sample an area and then it uses that sample area as its reference to use for the replacement. Now the way you sample an area is you hold the Alt or Option key in. It's the Alt key if you have a PC option if you have a Mac and you'll see the cursor will turn into a little bullseye. So just click once. So we're sampling from right there. Now we'll go over here and I'll click once, just like we did before. And I'll come up here and I'll hold the shift key in. And it sampled right across to get rid of that. And we could just continue. Uh, now this has some blur here. I don't like that. So we'll get rid of that in a minute. Hold shift key there. Hold shift key there. There. Now you could keep going as long as it's working. You may have to take a, sa a new sample somewhere because these do bend up and our sample's probably not going to bend up as in the same rate. Or it may, it may not. Okay, like that. Now right here there's a little bit of a blur. Actually, you know, the, at first glance I didn't like that. See how it has that there? So what we could do is we could go to the patch tool and I could circle right here and I could just do a patch of that. And hit Command D. Remember we did that in the last. Now see how it did that kind of blur. I don't really like that at all. So we'll come back to that. And we're going to do something different I think for that. And we'll go back to now our spot healing brush because that other line is gone. We could go back to this brush. I'll click once. Hold the shift key in. Hold the shift key in. Chunk right there. Get rid of that. Hold the shift key in. Shift key in. Hold the space bar in. Drag to this side here. Finally, get rid of all of it. Got a little piece of one right there. Get rid of that. Now we got kind of this blur right here I don't really care for. There's, you know, we could come in. I think another tool we could use is the clone stamp tool. S is the uh, quick or the shortcut key for that. And what we could do then, the way this one works is we get a sample as well. I'm going to get a relatively big brush. Go up to the brush attributes. And I'm going to have hardness around 50% again on this tool as well. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get a sample area by holding that Alt or Option key in again, which is right there. And we're going to kind of try to get a sample area. I'm just going to keep holding Alt or Option until I see something I like. I like it right there. So we hold that Alt or Option key in to get a sample. That's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have Mac, click once then bring it over and you can see we have a bit of an overlay there 
and click once in there. I think that looks a little better. Now we'll come over here and I think we could get a smaller tool here. So we're going to get a smaller one. And I sampled once right here by holding that alter option key in and then we'll just kind of go right like that. Now that looks ridiculous so we're going to hit um, option command Z so that one doesn't look as well or is is realistic right there uh, doing it that way so what we could just do is to keep trying different tools use the spot healing brush come in here like this that looks more realistic already so there you go so just using the spot healing brush on that help that we're gonna hit command zero to fit to screen that's control zero if you have a PC again I'm gonna make it just a little smaller hit command minus and that's a little smaller you hit control minus so you can't even tell those power lines were there and over here you really can't tell that that branch went up behind his back now I am not satisfied I'm gonna tell you right now with what we have over here you could see it's it's just a little too unnatural looking the way it's cut off but you could work on that you could use a combination of the healing brush and the spot healing brush to try to give it a little more realistic of a of a look and work on it you know little by little but just remember that your eyes are going to be more critical than anyone else's eyes and look command zero to fit to screen maybe command minus one time make it a little smaller that's again control zero if you have a PC control minus to make it smaller if you have a PC and those are our two images and that's it for this episode it's as I mentioned it's it's really not so much hard the way to get rid of these unwanted objects in these images it's just a little more time consuming and you have to take your time and just go through the image a little more uh, tedious it's a little more tedious work and for the sake of this video I went very quickly and I'm not super happy with the job I did on this one but this one is fine you can't even tell and you know hopefully that helps you you know remove power lines in your images or remove unwanted objects that you don't like uh, you know kind of messing up your shot so that's it for this episode thank you everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon